Hi, I'm Brian Hayes, a Pardot and Salesforce consultant with Rotiv. We're an official Salesforce partner and we help small businesses automate their processes. In this video, we're gonna talk about when you might wanna create a custom object and how to decide if a custom object is the right thing to make in the system. So the short answer is, you're gonna to wanna to make a custom object if a standard object isn't a good fit, if that won't represent your data very well, or if custom fields aren't a good fit either, because maybe that data isn't directly related to a standard object, or there's an uncertain quantity of that, that custom object that we might need to relate to a standard record. So first off, a standard object in Salesforce is gonna be those you know, typical Salesforce records, accounts, opportunities, leads, contacts. And so if you wanna represent a person in Salesforce, well, you've got leads and contacts to do that. So you're probably gonna to wanna to use the contact object for it. Not a situation where you're really gonna to wanna to create a custom one, we've got a good use case for that. But here's an example. Let's say you want to represent invoices in Salesforce. Now, the standard implementation of Salesforce does not include invoices. So we've got opportunities, but, but opportunities are about the sales process, right? They conclude when that sales is either won or lost. It doesn't really say much about what happens post-sale, post-project when you send that invoice. So that could be a good candidate for a custom object. We could also create custom fields for that, potentially because an invoice should be related to an opportunity. If you're only ever gonna send one invoice, you know, then custom fields are a good choice because we can add a, a couple extra fields to the opportunity and say, what's the invoice number? What's the invoice date? What's the invoice status? Was it paid? Was it sent, et cetera? Is it overdue? But let's say there's an uncertain number of invoices that might be related to an opportunity. So perhaps you invoice, you know, at the beginning of the project and at the end of the project. Maybe it depends on the project. Maybe if it's a long ongoing type work, you might need to have an invoice every month for a number of months. So when you don't know how many invoices, how many of that custom record you want to relate to say an opportunity, that's where the custom object really comes in handy. Because if we tried to represent that in fields, you would have to you know, create a field that said invoice one amount, invoice one date, invoice two amount, invoice two date, so on and so forth, which means a lot of the time you're gonna have these extra fields that are empty. It also means that reporting is gonna be really difficult because if you wanna sum up all of the invoices across all of your opportunities, well, you're now adding up multiple fields across multiple records and your reporting gets a little tricky. So the better alternative here is to create a custom object for invoice and then relate it to the opportunity. Because that way you can have just one invoice related to the opportunity, two, five, 20, it doesn't matter. The relationship there scales or shrinks you know, as you need for that particular use case. In conclusion, if you wanna use a custom object, think about if there's a standard object that can represent that data well. If there isn't, custom object might be the way to go. The other thing to consider first are custom fields. You know, can I represent this data with a custom field? If there's an unknown quantity, you know, how many invoices might we need to relate to the opportunity, then an object is definitely the better way to go because you've got that flexibility uh, in how many records are related to that object. Well, I hope that helps. If it did, please hit that like button Click subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and tutorials like this one. And thanks for watching.